Hello everyone. So today we're going to take a look at uh, uh, an excellent tool which is part of the OLE tools package uh, probably released by Didier Stevens and a few other authors on GitHub. So I do have a document here that we're going to analyze and see if it is malicious or not. So OLE dump, right? So first of all, let's simply run OLE dump.py which is a Python script with the help command so we can see that it has a few helpful commands and i'm simply going to start off with the first one that is it selects an item for dumping so what is an item here all right first of all let's see what an OLE uh what what happens basically if i pass a document to oledum.py and we can do that using oledum.py and passing the document name to it and we can see that it returns to us a count and a column which has a few m's in it then a numeric digit and finally the name of uh something so what are these these are called streams so streams are like files in a file system and streams are what binary bits and bytes which actually compose these vba macros so what the first column here suggests is is that these are the stream numbers that is this document has 17 streams in it the second column suggests whether this uh, a stream is actually a macro stream or not so you can see that this this is actually in the macros for slash project macros for slash project vm and so on so on so on so you might be wondering what is macros forward slash so here macros forward slash is actually a storage a storage is similar to a folder in the file system right a folder has multiple files or maybe even multiple folders inside of it so you can see here that the macros folder or the macro storage has the VBS storage which has the SRP stream so this is how uh, OLE documents are composed that is they are a combination of storages and streams so here we can see that we have three macro streams this document drive DIR and finally XOBJ OBJ so now let's rewind back a bit and we saw that the uh, hyphen S command we can use that to select an item for dumping so we can simply select a stream using s now let's run oily dump.py on ordeal again and we're going to pass the stream 8 to it All right so that is the hex output of the stream that we just dumped well this is not very helpful is it so first of all we have to convert this hex into maybe ascii All right so let's see if the tool does have some form of support inside of it so it does if i use dash d which is dump so it can perform the dump for me now let's see if uh, dump does it for me dash d all right so this is uh, has basically dumped something for me and this is actually just not hex and well it is not really readable is it well i can read some strings for example one normal dot this talk attribute vb name uh, something open well it's not very clear so let's head back to the documents helper and see if we can do something about it. All right, so we can, we've already seen that the hex dump is actually the default view of OLE dump and we do not want that. To perform an ASCII dump, we can see uh, and simply run the SHA and this is going to pass on the, the ASCII dump over here along with its hex view. We don't want that either. Now, sec third, we have uh, strings dump. Now let's see what strings dump does and all right so if i run dash a hyphen capital s on it it is going to return the dump the strings from this particular stream well this is not great either we do not want that so vb streams by default are actually compressed so to perform a decompression oily dump provides us the hyphen v command so let's run hyphen v oily dump and hyphen v hyphen s s and i'm going to select the eighth stream again and i'm going to pass on the document again and see first by the way if just for just to show you in comparison here is the document if i here's actually the stream that if i dump it without any any decompression of sorts well it is not really readable but if i do pass the decompression command to it that is hyphen v we get we get a nice ascii string and we can simply now analyze these right all right now let's see if uh, we can take a look at other streams as well i'm simply going to run oily dump on my document again 
All right, we have the stream 15. I'm going to select 15. And we are going to pass D to it. Well, this is not readable again. We're going to pass V to it. And you can see that this is again a readable stream. And I'm going to simply select 16th as well. And now we can continue our analysis by, by using these, uh, these decoded or decompressed streams. And we can see what the tool has provided to us and what this document had in itself. Now, there are a few other uh, elements to OLA dump as well. For example, you can print extra information for a selected item. Let's see if we can print something for our 16th string. Right, so it shows us that it has three strings. The embedded uh, size is 392 bytes. The MD5 of that embedded file is this. Shard is this and the magic bytes are this. Well, you might be wondering when this could be helpful. Well, if an OLE stream embeds another OLE stream inside of it, you'd see that the magic header would correspond to something else. Maybe the OLE stream had a file in itself, or maybe it is a different document in itself. Then you would see that the magic was different, and it could have been, might have been actually uh, been uh, referencing a document itself. So you'd find that here, and you can use that or dump that as well. Uh, I've shown you how to dump that, right? So you can use the hyphen D command to dump out an OLE stream uh, wherever you want. And we can use uh, operators, so, uh, that is the redirection operators, to simply store the output of the, uh, the command in a file on the file system. Right. Other than that, we do have the support to run a Yara on the streams using Y. We uh, can have a few plugins if you want. I've never used this actually. I've never had to use it. But uh, the tool is amazing. It does have support for everything that you can and want to do with it. Similarly, we have hyphen M and it prints out the metadata of the document and actually the stream itself. And we can see that this was last saved by a user Windows. I'm not sure why this information is not available to us, but this is a byte. Uh, this actually in bytes, right? And uh, other than that, yeah, I don't think uh, here we do have something useful. So I'm simply going to run the help again. And do we have anything useful? Well, you can cut data out of it. And uh, well, you can include storage in your report. Let's see what storages does. And I'm simply going to pass storages to it. And all right. So you can see that it has separated out storages from streams. So if I show you the docu document in comparison, you can see that it has a root entry, then it has a macro storage, then it has a macro VBS storage, and then all of these are actually streams inside the VBS storage. In contrast, if I do not use the hyphen hyphen storages parameter, there's no storage here and I'm simply watching whatever the streams are available to me. All right. So uh, if we can run OLE dump again and I can show you what it is. Uh, well, I can pass pa uh, the zip password to it. If it is actually a zip file, I can do that uh, and it can unzip it or actually decrypt the zip file and then continue with the analysis of the document inside of it. It can do that. All right, uh, and it can produce a report. Let's see what it does. All right, okay, that is not very useful, is it? Let's see if it dumped something to my. No, it did not. All right, so let's see if we can list it out and see what it's about. All right, so its version is two. The ID is Daddy Stevens. This is uh, much thanks to the author of this wonderful tool and the toolkit uh, in the entire toolkit actually, the OLE tools, Daddy Stevens and other authors along with it and these are actually the streams inside of the the document and the data that they do have well this is not very useful for us right now so i'm simply going to exit this all right well i don't think there's anything else left that requires uh, our attention now we can use OLA dumb in com in in complement to complement basically other tools of the like, for example, uh, OLE VBA, OLE ID, 
or uh, maybe uh, mraptor and other similar tools so if you found uh, a VBA stream in using OLE VBA, you can maybe pass it on to OLE dump. Maybe you have found a stream using RTF OBJ, which is used for RTF files. And if you've selected a stream there and you can simply pass it on to OLE dump and it does not require the hyphen S flag, then it can simply dump out the stream for you by itself. So this is actually quite useful.